Hello and welcome to fit to box channel. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to jab that notifications bell for all my latest uploads. Today I've got a pair of gloves to review that are like no other gloves available on the market. They are like no other gloves that I have ever tried and they are from a company called Onyx and they are the X Factor gloves. Let's just bring those round. Now Onyx Equipment is the brainchild of a guy called Trevor Whitman who is a coach over in America. Um, he had a look at what he thought about with boxing equipment like pads and gloves and he looked at ways to improve what was already out there and he has come out with his own range of equipment and these are the lace-up version of his boxing gloves. I'll just show you there. Now Trevor is a coach, he started designing and making his, his own training gear and he has helped create 18 world champions in boxing, kickboxing and MMA and has also been awarded coach of the year. These gloves have been in development for five years where he's been sort of tweaking the design over a period of time uh, making sure that these gloves are fit for purpose in every way. What's up guys? I'm Trevor Whitman from Onyx Sports. I am the founder and creator. I was asked to do these videos really on how Onyx was created. Uh, and I've been coaching for many years, uh, just over 20 years now, and one of the biggest issues I was dealing with was having equipment that fit me and, and held up uh, to the standards that I needed. I wanted better equipment, needed better equipment, so that's how Onyx was, was formed. So these gloves come with the bag that's in the background there, which is a personalized bag. So on there it does say Fit to Box Channel. Come obviously with the gloves as well. And also you get a couple of stickers from Onyx and you also get uh, the heat molding instructions, which I will mention later on in the review. Um, that on the front there, that is the Velcro version of these gloves and then they also send through uh, an inspection report which is making sure that before these get delivered that the materials, the stitching, the strapping and the laces, the hand position, the thumb position, the packing, all of that has been inspected prior to you getting these gloves and then at the bottom you've even got um, the person who has inspected those gloves for you. So let me move that to one side. So the big thing about these gloves is that they are designed to be used without hand wraps. Okay, so that's pretty revolutionary. I have used hand wraps or some sort of knuckle protection for many years and, and totally used to that. So trying these without hand wraps on did feel strange to start off with. Um, but the reason that you can use no hand wraps is all to do with the back how there's a strapping system that goes over the back of the glove and also how the laces bring that system together. So these gloves have got a patented internal strapping system that goes over the back of the gloves to support the hand at the rear and it's all to do, the magic happens in this area here where you get it really tight and brings the glove right around your hand. Um, I've got some footage from Trevor Whitman who is going to explain the X Factor strapping system to you. So the X Factor technology, uh, it's an internal strapping system that goes uh, through the glove. Uh, I, get, I got the idea from pinching the glove and I don't know if you guys uh, know what pinching is, but pinching is where you take the laces and you go up very high on the glove and you pinch, and we used to do that in the professional uh, boxing days where the lace would come up back behind, and then you pinch the leather up here. And the reason why they stopped allowing it, I know there's still some commissions that allow it. Most of them don't. I had asked one of the commissioners uh, why they stopped, and he had a great answer. He said that uh, when the glove starts to move around, the lace would come back, and almost all gloves have a little you know, indentation here like you see here. Uh, where the laces go in and that's where the tape stops. If you tape up higher past that invention when the hand starts to move, the laces come back and become exposed. You have to stop the fight, uh, put tape over them again, 
And I totally understand that, so you don't want no stalls in the fight. Uh, so that's actually how I came up with the idea of, of putting a strap system throughout the glove. So here's our lace series where the laces actually go throughout the whole glove. Our Velcro series, you're going to see the straps go throughout the gloves. That's that big X. That's the X Factor technology. Uh, the reason why I created that was fit, feel, and sizing, and support. Uh, you can actually make a glove fit better because as you add the strapping, the glove sinks around your hand. And what's the benefit of that? I mean, again, it's, it's going to help with support. It's going to help with the sizing. Uh, small hands like mine, you always had this big old piece of glove all the way past here. So I was holding on to the thumb and holding on to this, this glove that had so much more width. It's like putting on a shoe that's like, you know, five sizes too wide. Uh, let me explain how I think that's causing damage. If you think about having a pen in your hand, a leverage point, the further that piece sticks out from your hand, the more of a leverage point you have to cause wrist damage. And what I mean by that is if you're going to throw a punch at someone and they slip, they're bobbing and weaving, and you hit that leverage point, I am now going to cause a bent wrist. I know... You know, the metacarpal, uh, the, the pinky finger, the boxer break is one of the most common damaged areas. Uh, think about that edge out here. When I hit something and there's a leverage point, even if it's an inch, it's going to cause my wrist to turn. So I'm hitting this part of the glove, I'm not even hitting my hand, and it's a leverage point causing the wrist to fluctuate back and forth. Uh, so I wanted to create something that when we pulled on the straps, shrunk the hand or uh, the glove around the hand, supporting the metacarpals in the wrist. Uh, I have the first glove that I made with the X Factor technology in there when I was, you know, kind of learning how to do this. I wanted to, I had this idea in my head and I did some manufacturing and, and it didn't come out anything like I thought. They had no idea what I was talking about. So I had to make the glove myself. Uh, so this is the glove here. And if you see here, when I pull on this strap, you're going to see the glove actually bend. That's what's going around and making that glove smaller, shrinking the glove in, but the main part is it's shrinking this glove around your hand and your wrist. So again, when I pull on this strap here, you're going to see that glove shrinking wrap around. That is what those straps are doing. So it's giving you wrist support. Okay, so there is a molding process that needs to be done with these gloves prior to you using them. And that process includes getting a hairdryer. Now, I haven't needed a hairdryer for quite a few years, and because of that, I borrowed my wife's. But you will need a hairdryer for the process. Uh, what you do, you put the hairdryer in there for four minutes. It heats the inside of the glove and all the materials inside the glove up. And then you put your hand into the glove, and then for ten minutes, you press across. You don't punch anything, but you mould the glove to your hand, and over the ten minutes, it moulds to your hand. So what happens at the end of the 10 minutes is you are then good to use them without the hand wraps because of that process. That process can be repeated. I've done it twice with these gloves. Um, but really, once you've done the molding process, the most important thing after the molding process is to make sure that the person who is tying the laces gets those two yellow bits close together. Okay, so that brings all of the glove in. So it's not like a, a normal lace-up glove where some people will just tie you know, it tight at the end there. For these to work properly, you have to make sure that it is tight at the top and all the way down the laces system before you tie it off at the front or at the rear. It's vital for this glove to work. If inside your hand is sort of got gaps, then obviously that's where you normally would have hand wraps. Um, you don't need hand wraps with these but you do need that to be tight for it to uh, work and so that moldy process around your knuckle is nice snug fit. The molding process doesn't like dramatically change the inside of the glove but it definitely does change the inside of the molding so you can feel that it is snugger around your hand um, but it's not like super tight or anything. Uh, talking about no hand wraps, I've had some questions about the no hand wraps Listen, that's one of the biggest changes in the game, not having hand wraps. If anybody were to tell me that when I was boxing, there's no way I'd even try it. If you know how to wrap a good hand and understand the need 
for wrapping a hand, wrist support, and it's a feeling, you know, if uh, uh, you like the way a, a hand wrap feels. The biggest issue I feel is causing damage uh, to the hands and wrist it is bad foams in gloves, which is causing you to add other, more padding to the knuckles. Uh, we have the best foam in gloves right now. Uh, but I don't feel like you need to have any more padding on your knuckles. Uh, it's adding more weight to your gloves, and most importantly, a bad hand wrap is going to cause more damage. And what I mean by that, think about grabbing one finger. Grabbing one finger, or like this pen here, okay? I can line my hand up and have a good, strong grip here, okay? I got a 90-degree angle. What I mean by that is, if you look at a, I can line my knuckle up. I can do a push-up on those knuckles, okay? That's a perfect fist position. I'm hitting with my power knuckles. The issue is when you start adding more material in your hand and you start getting too much of your hand wrap on the inside of your hand, like a professional hand wrap and a good hand wrap will do positive things for you. But most people, I'll say 90% of people that I see in the gym, and I own gyms for many years, is they start wrapping up too much material. So I start, and then you add the material of the glove inside of that, and the little tube that you hold on to the glove. So the more material you start adding, you start hitting with your door knocking knuckles. And if I want to line these knuckles up to land first, now I'm going to get a bent wrist. So I'm turning my hand over too much. And it's causing damage because I've got too much material in this area. So we created a glove that you don't need hand wraps. You've got the wrist support in there with the X-Factor technology that you can adjust the, the support to the wrist. The foam, no one's going to beat the foam that we have. And that is one of the major costs in our glove is the foam. We're using high-level technology foams. The Onyx X-Factor training glove uh, Onyx a very innovative company, lots of serious thought has gone into these gloves by Trevor Whitman. The style of them, I think they're great looking, great style, love what they've done with the logos um, on there as well, if I can show you that. I love the fact, like with the laces as well, that Onyx all through the laces looks great. And I love how these gloves have been designed. The knuckle area, you've got that premium technology foam. Okay, great protection. It does feel a bit weird at first without hand wraps, but once you are used to it, it feels fine. It does give you a great ergonomic fist position once your hand is in there. When it comes to the thumb, very comfortable thumb. Right at the end, there is a little bit of a seam in the thumb, um, but it's still a comfortable thumb. And that thumb gets pulled in by that lace system at the back, so it becomes more compact around your hand. When it comes to the laces, you can open the hand with these gloves. Uh, those laces have got to be really sort of tight across there, and those two yellow bits need to really come in for it to really mould to your hand when you've got your hand in there. And if you can see from there how this is different from other boxing gloves, if you've got those two sort of flaps on the outside, and then you've got those crossover bits in the middle. And that's what allows the middle of the glove around the wrists to become really, really super tight and secure. Okay, I have to say these are the best wrist I have ever felt on any glove. Um, once it is all tied up, you do have quite a slim wrist um, when you look at the glove, but that's fine. See how close that is, that's good. Yeah. In? Yeah, yeah. I'll just put that there, so. You can feel it pulling together, you see? Yeah. That's good. You definitely have to have somebody to tie these. <laughs> I don't think the things are going to work on these, are they? No, no, no way. 
Is that all okay? okay? Yeah, and then what you did with that one? So one down there. That's it. And at the front. Um, when it comes to the thumb as well, I have got the fit to box logo on there. You can have different names which are normally put on in gold on the front of the gloves. The lining, once the, once the glove has been moulded, they do feel super comfortable. Really do feel like they're sort of wrapping themselves around your hand. The protection for your hand is great. Protection for your sparring partner is also great. These are a 16 ounce. They're also available in 12 ounce and 18 ounce. There is no 14 ounce available in these gloves. The material, it's not leather. It's a technical composite material that is used. And inside you have got some high level technology foams. And here's Trevor to talk you through those materials. So what materials are we making our gloves with? We're using a composite. Uh, it's used in all high-level athletics at the moment, uh, basketball, football. Uh, the material we're using actually comes from snowboarding. It's completely waterproof. Think about like athletic shoes. Athletic shoes are not made with leather anymore. They used to be, and they used to be super stinky. Uh, we stopped using leather through testing it with the consumer. Our first glove that we did had the composite, and then we had leather thumb and leather knuckles. After a year of use through the consumer, we asked feedback on what was what was working, uh, what was wearing down quicker, uh, where were the glove breaking down. Almost all pictures we got back was showing that it was wearing down on the tips of the fingers and on the thumb, on the leather spots. The composites still look brand new. Uh, one thing about leather to understand, leather is, is you can seal it, but you can only seal one side. You can't seal the underneath side, which is like the suede area. So what happens with that? You're gonna take on water or sweat. Uh, the more moisture you have inside your gloves, the quicker your foam's gonna break down. If your foam's breaking down, uh, you're gonna start feeling knuckles through the gloves, uh, which is not good for your partners or for yourself. And again, staph infections, ringworm, changing the weight of your gloves, starting off as 16 ounce gloves, and then when you're done sparring, they're 20 ounce gloves. Uh, so I don't believe in leather, I still make leather products through my Foley Customs, but uh, when it comes to releasing, this is our first product to release was the X-Factor technology. Uh, that was the first product to bring to market. This is our current version. Okay, all composite. It will last very long. That's why we have our one year warranty. I don't care what happens to your gloves. If a stitch breaks, Velcro wears out, I want to know. Send the gloves back. I want to cut them up, see what's going on. Uh, but I also want the people who are paying the money for these gloves to be guaranteed that their gloves are going to last for at least a year. 90% of gloves are using an EVA foam, which you see right here. It's nice because it doesn't take on water. Higher level uh, gloves. Uh, you heard about Reyes with the, the horse hair. That's more competition. Uh, Reyes is using a EVA foam. Uh, winning is using layered foams. They're going to have a carpet foam in there. They're also going to have a, uh, a spongy foam with EVA foam. Also, spongy foam is like what you clean your cabinets with. If you think about putting it underneath the water and then squeezing it out, that's a spongy foam. So, you know, it's good for the knuckles and having layers. I definitely respect the layers that they're doing. But again, if it's taken on water, you're going to take on bacteria and staph infections, ringworm, weight changes, and then again, gloves break it down quicker if they stay wet. Uh, so I got some foams here, kind of just show you what we're doing. Foams that we're using, high technology foam, contact foams uh, that are built for taking contact. Most sports, I'd say all sports out there are using high level technology foam. I haven't seen it in this industry yet, instead of uh, someone putting a cool name on it. Uh, here's some open celled foam, very high level, the highest level uh, uh, open cell I could find. We're not using that, I just want to use it for demonstration. Highest level of EV foam I could find. When I take a, just a ball here, and let me pull this back. When you see bounce, that is meaning that there's not going to be a protection. There's not going to uh, uh, allow the contact. Again, for, for, for fights, 
you want contact. You want that entertainment value for uh, the people who are entertained and paying for these events. But when it comes to training and training injuries, you shouldn't be getting KO'd and, and having concussions. Yes, there's going to be those those freak accidents. But if you're using correct gear, you should stay safer. Again, back to the EVA. Boom. You're going to get bounce, 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 sit. So that's the foams that we're using. We also have a... Uh, uh, a heat to mold foam that we're using. It's not a cold foam, uh, 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 a cold heat foam, which means when you heat it, it goes to the exact shape of your knuckles. You're not going to feel that. What it's going to do is open the cells up, make it feel like it has a broken feeling on top of take great protection. Let me just give you a couple demonstrations of all the other EVA foams out here. And I want you to listen to the sound. These foams at all different layers and densities doesn't sound good. That's what your knuckles are doing to the other the other partners. Uh, one more thing I want to talk about is the material. So talking about leathers, go through this really quick. Leather, boom. I can rip and tear leather with ease. Doesn't matter what leather you're getting, you're gonna rip through. And I just went to my stock and just grabbed different types of leather. So seeing this stuff. I mean, it just, it's crazy to me. So if someone, if you think about a needle, if they hit one area too many times, you're going to start having your gloves tear. And again, this is why we warranty, and this is why I believe in composite. This is a composite that we're using, and I'm telling you, I cannot pull on that. And I want you to see the stretch of it. This stuff is not going to tear if we go too many times through with that needle. So again, understanding longevity of equipment when you guys are buying buying premium stuff i want it to be you you to get a premium performance out of it so that's kind of just understanding what the what the gloves are made out of so these gloves can be used on the bag or in sparring you see you can open the hand up fine you get a good fist as well the stitching on them is very good and they do feel, in terms of quality and durability, they do feel like a very solid glove. They are made in the USA. And you have also got a one-year replacement performance guarantee. So, anything goes wrong with these gloves, you can send them back. And uh, that one-year replacement shows how much confidence that Trevor has in these gloves. Now, the cost of them... 240 English pounds or 309 US dollars. That's about 270 euros. The personalization comes at no extra charge. You can also purchase on a monthly subscription, which is $30 a month over the 12 months, which obviously comes to $360. So slightly more for paying that subscription. But if that's a, a way that you can get hold of these gloves and you haven't got the initial $309, then uh, that would be a great way to make sure that you could get a pair. So the current gloves that we have uh, to purchase are the X-Factor gloves and the Apex gloves. Uh, X-Factor gloves are going to stand out because they're gold. So you're going to see our Velcro series uh, uh, glove through the X-Factor. You're also going to see the lace-up. Lace-up is, uh, uh, to me, high-level professional athlete. I would go with the lace-ups. You have a super narrow back. For defense, uh, understanding defense and fighting, sometimes gloves can become very big for a 60 ounce glove, and then it's easy to block. You just put your hands up, you're blocking. This will allow gaps so people can get through those gaps and let you know where your defense is failing. So, I, as a high level professional, simplicity don't have someone to tie you up. Uh, deep thumb, uh, this thumb protection here, you're going to notice. Let me just talk about the thumbs real quick. The thumbs in these gloves, you're always going to feel like they're tight when you first get them. These lace-ups, when you see the yellow here, these are attached to the glove, and this is going to pull that thumb deeper. And what I mean by that is your thumb, this piece right here, you don't want it resting here. You want it all the way down in the pocket of your palm. And this is the most important piece to tie up to get that deep thumb. The two underneath that are the laces going throughout the glove. So you can adjust the support and size with these two down here. Yellow ones sink the thumb, sink the glove tight into your hand. These wings here, 
will allow you to adjust the size in your wrist area. It's not your typical just holes down the middle, which, you know, you put them on. And if you have thin wrists like I do, uh, that glove's still floating around. So you shouldn't even have to wrap these around before you feel the full support. This glove, most protective glove out there right now. I mean, if you have wrist problems, the wrist is super supportive. There's an extra layer of foam in the back of the wrist. On top of just having a strap to yank on, you can really pull it in. Uh, one thing to think about is when you're putting these gloves on, pay attention where the, the lines are in your hand. When you sink the Velcro, your thumb, you're going to really see how deep that goes. Most gloves, you have a feeling like this, like your thumb is exposed. These gloves are going to give you the two-knuckle feel, like it's going to sink the glove deep into these two knuckles and the thumb. And you just give you a great, great feeling. Uh, of just a grip on the glove. So with these gloves, you are gonna need somebody to properly lace them up for you. Uh, these are not a glove that you'll be able to use lace and loop with. Uh, if you want a Velcro version, go for the Velcro version. If you want lace, as long as you've got someone who can lace them up for you, then go with the lace. I have been super impressed with these gloves. They are so different from any other gloves that I have ever tried. But that doesn't mean that's a bad thing. I really love what they've done with them. I love the style of them. I love how they perform. I love the thought processes that have gone into it. I think they're very innovative by Trevor Whitman to have, have broke down all the different parts of the glove and to try and improve. Uh, and I think that he's doing a great job. I think that those wrists are amazing. I think those are the best wrists I have ever seen and felt on a pair of boxing gloves. And I don't say that lightly as I have tried many, many boxing gloves on. Um, but I really, really love what they've done. These gloves have gate crashed into my top five lace-up training gloves. Um, really think that they've, they're a great, great option for people. And let's just give you another just little look round. I think they look class. I think they're very well made. And I love the style of them. I have to say, I think that these gloves are a game changer. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe to Fit2Box channel and I shall speak to you soon.